Pisces, how are you guys? Happy November. Hope you're doing well. November, November. I like November. I think this is going to be a good month. I think it's going to be a good month for a lot of people. Let's see what your key to the month is. Nope, I want that one. Okay. Key card for the month for Pisces, November 2020. Six of Swords. This is what it looks like. I am crossing a line between instability and stability, narcissism and higher consciousness. I change direction, leaving what's known while revisiting old feelings and patterns in order to gain clarity on the next steps that need to be taken. I take these steps with courage and drive. I trust myself to listen to my inner guidance to allow this transformation to occur. Wow. Hmm. Pisces. You guys are on your way out. Hmm. On your way to new horizons, new things. And the Six of Swords doesn't always represent that we know what's ahead of us either, right? We just know that we no longer are satisfied with the status quo. We're ready to kind of just take the leap, take a little bit of, of, of a risk just to move away from what's no longer serving us because it just doesn't feel right, okay? Let's see what we pull for you guys. Pisces, November. Hmm. Wow, that one popped right out. And it's a good card too. <laughs> Holy cow, Pisces. You get you guys have cards flying all over the place. What's going on? Hmm. What are you guys leaving behind? Crossing a line between instability and stability. Narcissism and higher consciousness. Hmm. Going into the unknown. Two cards came out at one time, so I'm going to take them. All right, let's see what you got. Hmm. A lot of change so far in the signs that, that I've read for. A lot of change in the month of November. King of Rods. Direction, creativity, action. Underneath that, we have the Queen of Cups. That's you, Pisces. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. The energy is about coming into your own. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, God's Clock. Hmm. Wow. Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Emotional stability. Getting the, the emotionally desired outcome. Wow, another major arcana, the, the emperor. <laughs> definitely, definitely knowing what you, you want in your life and going about the process of procuring that. You have the power in the month of November, Pisces. Another major arcana. Hmm with the Queen of Pentacles. The chariot is all about forward mo momentum and balance and clarity. The Queen of Pentacles, this could be someone coming in that can uh, that that is offering assistance either financially, property-wise, health-wise. Someone who's helping you gain direction and focus. Or it could be your mindset. Maybe you have your eye on a new career or a new source of money or new property. There's stability coming in here. <laughs> and interesting enough with that, that six of, 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 of swords coming in as the key card, the first line on that card said, I am crossing the line between instability and stability. And let me tell you what Pisces, this, this reading really represents stability. So let's break it up. 
you have the the king of rods who is who is literally like the initiator this person knows where they want to go, they know the direction they want to take, and they are taking action towards it. And you are with the Six of Swords. You're ready to leave behind what isn't serving you anymore, right? Because you know yourself. You're in balance with who you are. You know what your heart desires. You're not holding yourself back based on what makes sense or not right and 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 there's then then we go back to that six of swords card where it says narcissism and higher consciousness right <laughs> higher consciousness this gut feeling within yourself this soul awakening pisces that says you know what i know who i am and I know what is fulfilling to me. And it may not make sense or be logical or really, you know, make sense to everybody else or, or what society says should, should be the way that things are. But it makes sense to me. It feels right to me. It feels right, says the Queen of Cups. It fills my cup. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel whole. And that's where I'm going. And I'm leaving behind anything that says that I can't because I know better. <laughs> and you know what? It's supposed to happen right now. It's supposed to happen. Even if you tried to control it, Pisces, in the month of November, you simply can't. The wheel is turning in your favor. It's time. It's time to progress. It's time to move forward. It's time to follow your heart. <laughs> if you do that, Pisces, if you follow your heart, if you follow that beautiful intuition of yours, if you follow that soul path, if you flow with the tide, like Fish Pisces is supposed to do, if you stop trying to, to, to swim against the current, <laughs> if you stop trying to swim against the current of what feels right and what is natural for you, you can achieve the Ten of Cups. You can achieve it. <laughs> that sense of emotional fulfillment. You guys know who you are. You know what you want. And you know how to get it. With the Emperor. The Emperor has got everything in his power to be able to manifest what he wants and desires in this life. Okay? He holds the key to his own world. He creates it. You guys have the drive and the balance coming in. You, you have the clarification that you need to soar. Hmm. To bring things once again into balance, to have an actual direction, a focus, Queen of Pentacles, like I said, is someone who is very nurturing when it comes to being able to provide stability to her family, to her loved ones, right? Someone who has the ability to provide abundance to, to the ones that she cares about. Right, because she is abundance. She knows how to bring these things into life, whether again it be property matters, career, financial, health. This woman knows how to manifest. It's just within her. It's her spirit. Like I said, this could be you, also your energy coming into play. Maybe these are things that you're starting to focus on. Or it could be someone who is willing to assist you. Someone, if you can think of someone in your life like that, who has those type of qualities, then this might be someone who is help bringing 
your life and your direction into balance. I want to get a clarifier on those last two cards. The chariot. Drive, direction, focus. Some of you may be having a focus to manifest something like that. A new career. Financial stability. Property, health. You guys are looking for stability, especially with the emperor right above that. Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Something's coming in for you guys in the month of November. Not only are you heading towards emotional fulfillment and you're leaving behind everything that's been disappointing, but you're also heading towards your, your planning here. The Knight of Pentacles is a strategist and most of the knights are very quick moving energies, right? Because you think about knights and they just charge into battle. And out of all the knights, the Knight of Pentacles would be considered the slowest moving knight. Why? Because he's a planner. He's a strategist. He doesn't just charge into battle. He considers closely his path and what he needs to do along the way to get that end result. And with the emperor right above him, wow. You guys really have that energy and initiative and drive to bring in the type of fulfillment that you're looking for in your life right now, not only emotionally, but physically as well. Hmm. This couldn't be a better time for you guys to progress and move forward and leave something behind and go in a new direction. And in fact, with the Wheel of Fortune, that's exactly what's going to happen. I love it. It's beautiful, Pisces. Wow. <laughs> you guys are going in the right direction in the month of November, let me tell you. Let's pull out a guidance card for you guys. It almost feels like you guys don't even need any guidance. I mean, this is all happening. Like I said, the way it's supposed to happen, it's divine intervention. Something may be kind of like, I feel like some of you honestly might even be moving. Some of you might be moving with the pentacle showing up and the direction cards and the emperor coming in. And the Six of Swords. Some of you may be traveling to, to a different place that changes your perspective on, on what you're capable of and where you want to go. Huh. Whatever the case, Pisces, this is, like I said, divine timing, divine intervention, the wheel turning in your favor. These are things that are meant to happen the way they're happening right here, right now. Hmm. Get ready. Get ready for the abundance. Let's see what we have. Dearest you, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now is the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life. So just do it loving you so so much i just got chills i just got chills pisces this is who this is a new direction for you guys this is what you've been waiting for unbelievable you guys you have the ability you have the power to do it you really do I'm so looking forward to this month for you. Please let me know in the comments how it goes. I'm so curious and I am rooting for you guys all the way. Mwah. Love you. See you next time.